HFCs are hydrofluorocarbons. So you'll find HFCs in your refrigerator, air conditioning, anything like that. Um, they were designed as a replacement to CFCs. The CFCs were first invented in the 1920s. The idea was to find a refrigerant that doesn't kill you. Thomas Midgley was looking for a solution to this and he invented Freon. Um, and at the beginning, it looked like a wonderful gas. The CFCs were being used more and more. It was around the 70s and 80s that people started thinking, well, if they get up into the stratosphere, they will eventually break down and they release the chlorine, and the chlorine can kill ozone. So we need an alternative. We need to stop using CFCs. The Montreal Protocol talks about anything that affects ozone. And there's a lot of gases that were global warming gases, like these CFCs, that affect both ozone and global warming. The HFCs are not a part of the Montreal Protocol. And I think what the discussion been, has been lately is if we could try to add HFCs into the Montreal Protocol. Bottom line is the HFCs don't hurt ozone, but they're just as bad. So the family of gases that include CFCs and HFCs is contributed to about 20% of the global warming that we see today. It's not the dominant player, but it's a big chunk and it's projected to increase. We have the technology to stop using HFCs. America and China have agreed they're gonna stop using the HFCs, and I think that's, that's a really good precedent. I think the Montreal Protocol and um, the subsequent agreements are a good model of that the world can get together, and I think the key part of this example is that we, we work with industry to find alternatives, you know, because you, you always wanna make your first step the easy one. CO2 is the hard problem. HFCs are comparatively simpler.